Good morning, you're in the kitchen with Jenny. I realized that my lemon squisher thingy and these oranges go good together, so I'm making orange juice again. Instead of using my nut milk bag, I'm using my lemon squisher thingy. So, I'm gonna make um, an orange strawberry smoothie this morning. So I used about 12 of the small oranges and made two and a half cups of orange juice. I decided I only, well, I only have a few strawberries left, so I'm gonna use pomegranate seeds and pineapple chunks as well. That's what I have left over here. Probably like, half a cup's worth, maybe a cup's worth. Pomegranates. These are really good for antioxidants, but then again, all fruit is, but supposedly these are extra high in antioxidants. I might add some mango as well. And I'm going to use the last of my tangerine juice that I have left over from yesterday. Oh, and I was going to tell you guys that last night after I had my corn pasta, Maybe we will just do pineapple. After I had my corn pasta, I did have another handful of the chocolate caramel popcorn. I know, bad. I was craving sweets, and sometimes I don't feel like whipping out this and doing another smoothie. But also, um, they say that, like, Freely and, and people I follow on YouTube say that if you... After you eat carbs, you shouldn't eat fruit afterwards because it's going to give you a stomach ache because of food combining and stuff. So, because the fruit will digest faster and run into the cooked food that you've eaten. So, I didn't really want to eat fruit after I had the corn pasta. So, I had that, the caramel, and then I also had some um, veggie crackers. I had like two handfuls of um, vegetable crackers by Eat Well, and they I got them at Fresh and Easy. So I had a little bit more fat yesterday than I should have. Full disclosure, guys. Full disclosure. So I'm putting in the very last bit of my tangerine juice. And some water. Let's hope it mixes without a problem today. We'll see. Fill it up pretty high. Maybe get some more movement in there. Trying to decide if I want to put sugar in it or not. I guess I can taste it and then we'll see if it needs sugar. What do you think? Good idea, huh? Taste test, yeah. Alright, so I blended it. Ah, see? Put too much water and look what happened. Now it's overflowing. Oh no. Oh my goodness, it's just barely hanging on. Taste a little. It's <laughs> a lot of pomegranate seeds in my throat. <clears> Tastes <throat> a little sour. Still good though. Kind of tangy. I would probably add a little bit of sugar, but I'm gonna have to pour some of this. Oh, there's a bug. I'm gonna have to pour some of this out so that I can mix it again. Wish me luck. I'm gonna make a mess. This is really good. Hi. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like orange juice most. Yeah. So what do you put in here? Orange juice. Strawberries. Strawberries, pomegranates, mm. and pineapple. It's good. And water. Do you give it two thumbs up? Awesome. Thank you. I'm making one more smoothie for my lunch. Cherries, mango, and half a cup of sugar and water. And that's it.
Breakfast and lunch are done. My backup plan again today is dried mango. I ate half of the package on the way home from work yesterday before my dinner, and I still have half a pack left, so if I get hungry, that's what I'll eat. Please like this video and subscribe and tell your friends, and please share my video so I can get more subscribers. Yeah, please help me out. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.